We're gonna take some of our stuff to the scrapyard because I want this area cleaned. We have this aluminum pool that uh, you've seen videos ago. And I have all, some aluminum here, these copper bearing motors. Some stuff in here I'm gonna try to get rid of. I have a bunch of casts, uh, some chairs, and a couple bits of this metal over here I'm gonna take in. Like probably the wires, cause that bucket's pretty full. And like the air conditioning units, I still have to cut the ends off. So I won't bring those in, but some things. All right, I got all these copper bearing motors. I got this bucket of aluminum wire that I cut, uh, cast aluminum, uh, some siding stuff, rain gutters, and some pipe, uh, some stainless steel pots and pans, and this thing of uh, wire. I just gotta put the uh, aluminum pool in there. All right, got the pool thing in there. That ain't going nowhere. I'm sorry, I forgot to film it, uh, film unloading it, you know? You just get in the groove, you just, even though I'm filming for a lot of time, it's like day 15 or whatever, or I don't even know what day it is, but you just get so caught up with like enjoying scrapping, you forget that you're filming, you know? But, but here it is. You could pause the video, hopefully you could read everything. That was a lot of aluminum. That was, that was, that was heavy. The pool was heavier than it looks. But yeah, I got $161.50. So can't complain on that. So we're going to, I have to go do, uh, I have to go to a client's house. I'm doing maybe another uh, clean out. It's like of a whole apartment. It's everything in the apartment. So I'll go do that. I'm not gonna film because you know I'm gonna be with the homeowner walking around and giving my estimate. So uh, I'll catch you guys in a couple minutes. All right, so I just left that house and it's not as bad as they explained because it's a basement. It was like a mother-in-law suite and there was no one living down there for four years because they passed away. So literally the person that owned the house just closed the door and never went in there again. So like all the couches, the dressers, the clothes, everything has like a, you know, the white moldish to it. You know, it's not like black mold or anything. It's just like mold, you know, regular mold. That's not going to kill you. So there's a lot of stuff in there. So I'm going to have to uh, see how much is. So I'm going to have to figure out how much everything's going to weigh. So I know how much the dump's going to charge me because I'm definitely going to need my buddy Steve for this one. So soon, maybe two, three videos from now or tomorrow, I don't know if she's going to set my offer. I'm going to do that clean out first. And then that other person that already accepted my offer, I'm going to do that clean out and clean out and paint. So that would be cool. And uh, I'll bring you along and see how much money we make. But today I'm going to, I went to the scrapyard. I'll go dumpster diving tonight. I'm just gonna clean up around the house today and uh, I'll catch you guys dumpster diving. All right, I gotta go pick up more scraps. Steve has connected your phone and is remote. Okay, car. I have to go pick up more scrap from Steve's neighbor. So not bad, I don't know what he got for me, but since I'm down there, we'll just go dumpster diving in the sunlight and hopefully no one catches us. Got a fan, two totes filled with miscellaneous stuff. Well, this is his garage. He's a tinker. He likes stuff with motors. He got an 81 CR250. I forgot what that one was. He gave me those two totes of stuff and then uh, the neighbor, I went down the street and got some more stuff from some house that he's working on. I got a whole bunch of weights that I'm just gonna sand down and paint and keep for my weight uh, bench because they're, I got three 25 pound weights and some fives or whatever and some bikes and a little refrigerator. So I made out. So we're gonna go uh, dumpster diving and see if we can get something. 
Best Buy. What do you got here, Best Buy? Nothing, just wood. Oh. For every one good score, you're definitely going in like 20 some dumpsters because I don't know, it's it's hard, especially with competition and you know, you rarely get some good stuff. It's mostly just trash, cardboard, and stinky stuff. Locked, but I could peek. No, nope. this looks like cans and bottles and trash. This is a Sierra. They have their good dumpster, the one that you throw stuff from inside. Whoever invented that dumpster, shame on you, buddy. You're killing the dumpster divers with those things. All the goodies that could be in there. Well, they moved their dumpster. That was over there. Now it's over here. This is Burlington. It used to be Burlington Coat Factory. Now it's just Burlington. And they never really throw stuff away. It's just like, you know, paper and plastic bags. Ooh, there's some metal cabinets. Let me grab those real quick. Some metal shelving, but it's something. Try to be quiet. Pretty clean. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Can't complain. I got a couple metal shelves, maybe like ten of them. Target dumpster's gone. Oh, oh well. Got a roll off dumpster there. I got some metal from it, but not much, but it's gonzo's. Ooh, is there some wire? Take that. Mm. Couple little pieces of metal. Got this piece. little pieces here so got a five gallon bucket dumpster diving here before because it's uh it used to be burlington then they moved out and i guess they're redoing it to tractor supply so i'm not sure anything's even back here 
Ooh, that's metal. Little beans right here. like a door frame. bad and stuff all right if you're trying to if you have this long pipe it's like 10 feet long it won't fit in your truck what you could do if you're at a dumpster like this or stick it underneath your pumpkin on your truck you just do this and then bend it and it bends really easily because all the leverage now it's only five feet that I never came over here it's a little out of the way it's about 15 minutes past the other dumpsters I go dumpster diving at but hey if I can get stuff dumpster. so I can't take anything from here it looks like you know it's just scrap let me look yeah that's just all metal look at all that can't take that, that's illegal. So at least we got some stuff in the regular trash dumpster. And it's just plastic bags like this and trashola. So that's my last dumpster. The lady emailed me back and said it's a go for uh, that basement clean out. So I got two clean outs coming up in the next couple videos. Tomorrow will be the one clean out. I'm going there. It's probably going to take me two days to do it, but uh, that's going to be fun. So we'll take you along and see how much money we can make. So thanks for watching guys. Go out and have a scrap of good night. After I filmed that, I pulled around the corner and there's a dumpster here. So, yeah, this used to be like a shade place. They used to sell shades. Make sure there's nothing in here. No, just take it down the drop ceiling. All right, peace out, guys. I love you. And some uh, person came, 25 bucks, and bought the one electric motor I got a couple videos ago. And I'm going to sell this right now.
the vintage snap-on wet dry vac. I had it posted on Facebook for 40 bucks. Someone said, I'll buy it today for 20. I said, I'll do 30. He said, great. Could you meet me down the road at a gas station? And I was like, sure, I'll meet you there. So let's get this loaded up and make 30 bucks. Sweet, easy 30 bucks. I figured someone would buy that because it's a snap-on. Even though it's old, you know, there's always a collector or someone. The guy's like, I don't even need this, but it's a snap-on and it's older, so I figured, why not? If you meet me here, I'll buy it. So, 30 bucks is 30 bucks, right? Bing! Add that up to the total. I'll show you just everything I sold today. I sold this uh, button. It's to open the trunk. It's for the Mercedes S420. I sold that for 25 bucks, 24.95. Weber grill uh, thing, it's like an emblem. It goes on the grill, 25 bucks. Um, who's this, Tyra Banks, right? Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition, DVD set. It is open, but sold this for $75, 75 bucks. What I sold this for, $85. I sold this for $85. Uh, this I got at that DVD sale. Uh, so I paid like literally 20 cents for that. This I got for free. You know, I paid for the Mercedes. Uh, this I got for $5 at a yard sale. It's still sealed in there. Sold it for 85 bucks. But this I got from the pool dude and I sold it for a lot. It's a motherboard for some kind of whatever. It's a Hayward Goldline Aqua Logic main control board. And I just looked up the numbers right here. And this sold, I don't want to show the guy's information or who bought it. Okay, this doesn't show it. Can you see it? $299.95. Crazy. He uh, texted me and I picked up, usually I pick up those uh, pool motors from him to like, you know, for the pump. And he had two of those and some other stuff. It had, he had this motherboard, another bo motherboard that's actually, uh, the circuit was bad, so I can't sell that. But he said, this is working and like two control panels. The other two control panels, I think I posted for like 75 to a hundred bucks. But this I looked up and they were selling for like $350 ish. So I posted it for $299.95 plus shipping. So $300. Bucks. So, Kevin, the pool dude, thank you so much. But I'll catch you tomorrow and let's see what kind of scrap we can find.